There's an ongoing debate in the LEGO Castle community over using yellow heads or realistic skin tone heads for our castle minifigures. Traditionally, all in-house LEGO themes use yellow, while licensed themes like Star Wars and Harry Potter use realistic skin tones. However, it wasn't always like this. At first, Star Wars and Harry Potter both had yellow heads for all their minifigures. This was until 2003 when they released a Lando minifigure in the infamous Cloud City set. In this set, Luke, Han, and Leia all had their usual yellow heads, except they gave Lando a more movie-accurate brown skin tone. This obviously meant that yellow didn't really mean everyone, like LEGO wanted its consumers to believe. If it did, they would have just given Lando a yellow head like the rest of the figures in the set. After this, in 2004, all licensed themes would switch to using a realistic skin tone, with the first all flesh tone set being the 2004 Millennium Falcon. Now that we understand the history behind the split of yellow and realistic skin tones, we can now move on to the real topic of this video. Which should I use for my LEGO Castle layout? I personally really like the contrast that the realistic heads give to minifigures. This is especially true for the Black Ravens that are already dressed in yellow. However, one of the main hangups I have is it's really hard to get a variety of these heads at a reasonable price. Pick a brick isn't really an option because licensed minifigure parts aren't sold on it. So Bricklink is really the only option, which can get very expensive as I'm sure anyone watching this video is well aware of. Yellow heads on the other hand are much easier to come by and easier to find in a large variety of expressions and faces. Just on pick a brick alone there are so many options for heads, not to mention the hundreds of heads that are no longer in production. A point that I haven't seen brought up a lot is that almost all heads are depicting a specific actor or character. This is a problem because as LEGO fans we can recognize these heads from a mile away. So if you put them on a knight or a peasant minifigure, you're going to be looking at it and realize, oh, that's Han Solo in Black Falcon armor, or oh, that's a peasant using the Leia head. It can be kind of jarring to see these heads on minifigures that you're not used to, and in my mind they tend to stick out like a sore thumb. This could be solved if LEGO made minifigure packs that included a bunch of different heads and hand pieces in different colors to give us a bunch of different customization options. Unfortunately, this isn't a thing right now. So for me personally, I'm going to stick to yellow heads for the time being, even though I'd really like to switch to the realistic skin tone. For me, there just aren't enough customization options and variety of expressions and faces, so I'm gonna stick with yellow for now. And to end off this video, i just like to say, if you want to use realistic heads, please go for it, but for the love of God, don't mix in yellow heads. It makes it look like half your army is suffering from jaundice. Please let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Thank you for watching.